<laughs> Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. Oh my God. I just gave Chad a cardio test. We're going back to the farm in Iowa. We don't have real good phone service. She complains, and I love it. Gonna be late, Ralph. Hey, welcome to this week's The Choice, and this week, well, guess what? What? We're heading to one of our favorite spots, our little home away from home. Our little honey hole. Our cabin in Iowa. In Iowa. You know, because we're Illinois residents, we don't get to hunt out there in Iowa as much as we'd like to. But when but we, we do... we get the opportunity... Oh, it's like so, winning the lotto, baby. So we got shotgun tags, and we're excited. I mean, yes. Iowa, just like Illinois, is shotgun only, shotgun muzzle loader. can't take a rifle out there, and we're pumped. We got our new Brownings, and... We didn't know what to do. I mean, we were, we were excited. You know, for many, the, the, you, you may have never even hunted with a slug gun. Right. You know, because either it's rifle or it's bow. But in, in the Midwest, in some states, like Vicki said, it's only shotgun. So you've got like this one pound piece of lead that's flying in the air. And I mean, it can it can put the big hurt on some big old bucks we in had, Iowa. Yeah. And you, your hunt, my hunt, and we had Dr. Chris out in camp too with we us had a again. Blast. So we got lots to do. So we should just get going. Let's go. Let's go. To Iowa. I A. Our first day. Yep. We're hunting here with Josh, and Josh knows where the big deer are here in Iowa, and he's gonna take us to him. It's 50 some degrees in December. The first shotgun season, it's 50 some degrees, huh? I know, that's kind of crazy, huh? But you like it. She likes warm I do. weather. I have more. And this ain't warm, I sort of dig it too. I have more coats to put on too, so it's all good. Ralph and Vicki are hunting their Iowa property in hopes of encountering some massive whitetails. Iowa has often been referred to as the land of the giants, and for good reason. Limited non-resident hunting tags and rigorous management practices allow the deer to fully mature before harvest. How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. I got the gar hole ready. Hello. <laughs> you know, when we know that we're gonna be able to go to, to, to our farm in Iowa, we get pumped. You know, get to our Zook cabin, just know that we're gonna, <sighs> we're gonna veg. It's not every year, but what's awesome is when you know you're going, it's like Christmas time. Well, we're back here hunting with Josh here in Iowa. And we can't wait, it's our first day of shotgun season. And uh, we got a little bit of a hike. Can get to get in our most up ground blind and see what happens. Iowa is one of several states that doesn't allow rifle hunting. Bow hunters get a two week head start with their season opening October 1st. Two weeks later, the sound of muzzle loaders can be heard echoing through the woods. Both seasons last until early January. Hunters are provided in December with a window to harvest a mature whitetail with a shotgun. We just got our bear step ground blind. We're overlooking a, a food plot. I could see clover in it and a bunch of just prairie grasses. It's our shotgun season. We're in our blaze orange, which, oh man, just scares me. Vicki is to the southeast of us. She's probably a half a mile away. She's hunting over a standing bean field. shotgun season in Iowa. We're sitting out here. Josh set us up, got us in a ground blind. We're just working out some of the details on how this is going to work because it's, it seems to be easier when you just have a hunter and not a hunter and a cameraman. But you know what? If it's meant to be, it's going to work. Now, I've hunted whitetail deer with just about every single thing you can imagine. My Hoyt, crossbows, rifles, muzzle loaders. I've 
hunted them with shotguns, but I've never been able to actually get a deer with a shotgun. So I'm kind of looking forward to this week. With warmer than normal temperatures, Ralph and Vicki must improvise a bit when it comes to their hunting strategy. Right now we're post rut. The main rut is over. November's been over and done and passed. And now we're trying to, you know, we're trying to get set up that these bucks should be going and trying to put some more weight on their bodies so they can get ready for the winter. You walk this gate, mm -hmm. I took a lane, I made a lane, and you walk right down into the stand. After numerous encounters, Ralph and Vicky are still sitting patiently, waiting for their opportunity to harvest a mature buck with their brownings. It's shotgun season in Iowa, and the couple's private hunting property has shown great potential. We are in Iowa, it's shotgun season here, first shotgun season beginning of December. Second afternoon out. Um, we're hunting on our own farm here in Iowa. It's kind of cool. We're gonna head down. We've got a northwest wind. Ralph and Chad are hunting northwest of where we're standing right now. But we're gonna go down into our bottom and see if we can't get something. We shouldn't mess them up any by the way our wind is blowing, and they shouldn't mess up mess us up any either. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know it was slow. Chad and I were, were you know we're going back and forth in different situations. You know and and and, and the guys. We were lo trying to locate deer and man, it just seemed like it wouldn't happen. And you know how that goes, you're sitting there and you're going, oh my gosh, what are we doing wrong? And you start having that, that self-confidence problem. Like, all right, may maybe, maybe I should give up deer hunting. Ralph and Josh were out hunting, and I decided to kind of kick back and not do too much around. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna take the morning off. They decided I need to go out. Well, I decided to take just a meander. <laughs> I decided to go walk. We have a pond. So I walk around the pond, and I saw a nice scrape on the ground, and I saw a fresh rub, and I thought this is really cool, and the deer trails out there are just amazing. I mean, crazy amazing. So I'm walking, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go check out the creek bottom, because it's really not that far from the cabin. And that's what I did. So I start walking down the trail to see, you know, what's in the creek bottom, look some more tracks, maybe, who knows, maybe I can find an old shed. Look at these trails. It's like a motorbike went through here. And then I heard a splash. I got a little closer, I heard some more splashing and all of a sudden I see antlers. And I'm thinking, this is weird. So what I do, I film it on my phone. And then I think, ding bat, you have a deer tag. So I hauled my butt. I quietly snuck out of the area and ran all the way back to the cabin. After several days with little luck, hunting their private Iowa hunting property, Vicki has stumbled across a nice bug believed to be stuck in a creek bed. I was just taking a nice walk around our pond here by the cabin and I heard some splashing down the creek. It's a buck. Um, it's a nice buck. I don't know if he's actually just stuck between these two trees that, like, that have fallen down. I don't know how he got himself in there, but we're gonna go and find and see if we can't get my browning to help him out. He's in that corner of this field in the bottom of the creek there. 
we should actually be able to hear him splashing in the water a little bit. that I've never shot a deer with a shotgun, ever. Nice, let me put my safety on. He's done, he's done. Oh. <gasps> so. <gasps> Thank you, Lord. This morning. This morning we were sitting around thinking about what we're going to do this afternoon and well, um, what we're going to do this afternoon is we're going to go out deer hunting here in Iowa. Um, I took a walk and I come up to about this point and I heard splashing again and I thought, you know, I can film that. I think it's a beaver or an otter or something in the creek and I come around and right, right where he's just died. He was stuck between those branches, so I couldn't tell if he was stuck, if he was wounded, or... Anyways, he wasn't doing well. I ran back to the cabin, grabbed Dan and Chad, and said, Guys, there's a buck down in the creek. Let's go see if he's there. He may not be there. Who knows? We came back up around. Obviously, there was something wrong with him. There's obviously, because he should have been gone. There's no reason why that deer was still here. Unless that big guy of a bud said, You know, Vic? You should shoot your first shotgun tag. You should go ahead and do that. So you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> Truly blessing. Thank you, Lord, on this day. It's, we have two days left of shotgun season here, today and tomorrow. That's it. <laughs> and I just filled an Iowa book tag. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, I shot him like right here and then he just went and died right there. Huh? Look at him. <laughs> I mean, look at his tines. This is a really cool point right here. And when I was walking around and I saw him down here, I go, oh my gosh. I'm like, you know what? Sometimes, sometimes that big guy shines down upon you and throws you a blessing in front of your feet and you don't know what to do. Well, my feet went running back to the cabin and grabbed the guys and my gun and I'm like, okay. We can plan it all. We can make this plan, yeah. We can sit in ground blinds, we can sit on the ground, we can do all this stuff. I can go take a stroll through our property and come upon this guy and actually get him and tag him and that's amazing. Buddy, thanks for having us out here. That's awesome. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. Look at that, huh? Ralph and Vicky are hunting Iowa whitetails. It's shotgun season and their private hunting property has yielded some impressive results. Vicky has already harvested her buck, and with the clock winding down, Ralph knows that time is of the essence. We got in a blind, and what was funny is it's our last day. You know, we, we, we talk about this a lot. It's fourth quarter, two minutes left. You gotta go 99 yards to try to, you know, to score, and it seems like it's happening more and more to us. You know, and I don't know why. I don't know what we've done, but I, I gotta tell you, I, I really, I don't like those that, that last quarter stuff. And that's exactly what happened here. Josh is right over the hill. He's at a food plot and he's texting us saying, oh yeah, he's got a bunch of deer, a lot of young, young bucks coming out. And Josh being there telling us that, and all of a sudden, we, it was like a switch. And we started seeing all these deer piling out. And I mean, they're piling out. 
and they're coming in the food plot. And all of a sudden, I said, Chad, there's a nice buck. And you could see he was, he was sort of thin, but he's beautiful deer. And over his back, I see tines. Did you ever have that where you know? I didn't even say, oh, little better buck. I said, shooter. This deer starts to feed south like all the others. He turns and he starts chase pushing a doe and the do two does are walking right to us. They're I mean, they are gonna be within a hundred yards in, in a minute or less. I'm ready. I got my Browning A-bolt shotgun. I am ready. My, I, I had my Zeiss scope. I dialed it up a little bit more. and he's standing there. And all I could see is his antlers and his ears. And I know we're, you know, everything's clear. And I'm like. And then all of a sudden, he drops. Look at him. Oh my God, Ralph. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, 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 look at this deer. Oh. Look at this deer, guys! Oh! <laughs> yes, folks. We're hanging with our buddy Josh Schneider, man, and he just he just made my Iowa dreams come true in such a big way. Oh my gosh! What do you say? But thank you, Lord. The animal went down in seconds. I mean, everything worked out perfect. And <sighs> you know what's really cool? <laughs> He's bigger than Vicky's. <sighs> Did you send it? I didn't know. I didn't okay. send anything. I didn't do anything. I got to get that to Vicky. Oh yeah, they're sitting here. It's like the land of the giants out there. Oh, it's just you know, Iowa is one of those states that have absolutely understood what it takes. They limit the permits, so yep. in a way it hurts, you know what I mean? Yeah, not especially if you own a little bit of property. It's yeah. like, oh, come on. But the reality of it is, is when you can control that pressure, keep the numbers down, you can get the age structure, and that's what it does. And the other great thing that Iowa has going for it out there is their Hush, Hush. program. Oh my goodness. You know, help us stop hunger, you shoot deer. You know, you're, you're doing management, taking deer out of the population, but at the same time, you can donate that animal to the certain butcher shops and help the hungry. Well, you know, we, we preach to our own choir. That's the sad part. It is the sad But part. the reality of it is, is if people outside of hunting realized what sportsmen and women do on a regular basis, yep. yearly, no organization, no other industry participates and supports and does what, what hunters do. You're right. Hey, thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week with more Iowa. IA. IA? I abbrevi I just learned that. Can you do I thought it was IO or something Can like that. Can you do that? Leave me alone.